Hello everyone. I'm Aiko Wemura from Nihon University, Japan. I would like to talk about how to reduce dissonant calls in morphing based reharmonization using a variational autoencoder. Let's start with background. Reharmonization is a technique of replacing the original chord with another chord without changing the melody. For example, please listen to these songs. This is the original song. Next, I'd like to play a reharmonized song. We have a different impression of these songs, but the melody is the same. This is reharmonization. However, it's not easy for beginner musicians. What is the difficult is controlling the style of generated chord progressions. It should be intuitive, musically understandable, and user-friendly for people with no musical knowledge. To realize automatic reharmonization system, we focus on VA latent space as a controller. It's easy for users to search for their preferred code progressions by referring to reharmonized code progressions. This figure shows diagram of code morphing. We can get various reharmonizations among many reharmonization instances by morphing. Now I talk about related studies. There are some VAE morphing based methods such as Music VAE and MIDI VAE. Several approaches have been proposed to a variety of harmonization for melody such as surprise net and translating melody to chord. However, in these studies, the consonance of each chord was not considered in their models. So, we consider mechanism to control dissonance. Now I'd like to talk about how to reduce dissonant chords. First, we define the degree of consonance between two pitch classes. It's based on an interval of semitones concerning the dissonance curve. This figure shows that dissonance curve and the degree of consonance C. Focusing on the dissonant intervals, for example, minor second, major second, major seventh, and minor seventh, and the augmented fourth degree are lower. In contrast, the unison and perfect fifth intervals are higher. This figure shows the network structure. A model is a simple elastin VAE. Focusing on the teeth input, we combine the code and the melody information and the co-occurrence vector of pitch intervals to control the consonance. A co-occurrence vector of pitch intervals is calculated from the multiplication of two pitch class values of the chroma vector. The values are multiplied together and then the chroma vector is shifted in the pitch direction. For example, we multiply the C and C values of the chroma vector, then multiply C and C sharp values and so on. During training, we replace the co occurrence vector of the target with an ideal degree of consonance because the output of the model also includes the co-occurrence vector, we aim for a model in which the two nodes ideally 
co-occur by comparing the loss with the target. In other words, as the loss decreases, we expect the generated chord tones to become more consonant. We conducted morphing between Z1 and Z2 using this formula. Z1 and Z2 are latent variables of two songs. For example, I'd like to show you a famous song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Let's give it a listen. The first is Z1. And the second is Z2. When alpha is zero, moving results should be close to Z1, and it is one, it should be close to Z2. Here are the experimental conditions. The code progressions include common pattern data from music books and minorly harmonized codes by a professional musician. We split notes longer than quarter notes. All music is transposed to C key. The parameters for learning are as follows. Now, Let's talk about the results of our objective evaluation. We conducted an objective evaluation with code feature extracted by Jason Brick. We used MIDI data from 84 melodies. Each song is reharmonized in at least five patterns. The most code progressions were obtained by varying alpha in increments of 0.25 for song Z1 and the other star Z2. These conditions allowed us to set the style of the song. We generated each code progression in three styles, S1 to S3. S3 was a 50-50 mix of S1 and S2. To confirm the effectiveness of our consonance calculation structure, we used the LCM BAE as the baseline for comparison, excluding co-occurrence vector of the pitch interval. We extracted these features about chords by J. Symbolic. In the proposal model, we expected higher values for standard triads, diminished and augmented triads, dominant seventh chords, and seventh chords. In contrast, non-standard chords, complex chords, and vertical dissonance ratio values should be low values. Here, we would like to show you four results. This figure shows the violin plots of standard triads, diminished, and augmented triads. To evaluate the reconstructed piano roll results for 380 pieces of training data, we calculated the cosine similarity at each time. The reconstruction performance of the training data was almost the same. Although their distribution is similar, these results suggest that the number of standard trials increased with the proposed method. This figure represents results of non-standard codes, complex codes, and dissonance ratio. We can see that the proposed method produced fewer non-standard chords, complex chords, and vertical dissonance ratios. From these results, 
It seems some of the codes, such as non-standard codes and complex codes, were improved and changed to standard trials. This suggests that the use of a consonance template provides some assistance to the model during training. This figure shows the results of alpha equal 0.5 between add nice and simple arrangement styles. In other words, it's intermediate in the latent space and half the style. Let's give it a listen. The first is the comparison method. And the second is a proposal method. In comparison, the code tones were unnaturally reduced in the second and fourth verse. However, the proposed method generated a progression while keeping the original at nice. It seems that the number of standard trials increased while the number of non-standard and dissonant codes decreased. Our morphing results are available at this URL, so please check it out. Next, I'll show you morphing results of star 1 and alpha equal 1.0. We can regard as it style transformation of Z2 code progression. Let's give it a listen. The first is a comparison method. And the second is a proposal method. The comparison method produced unstable base notes and generated unnatural calls in the second and fourth verse. With the proposal method, we found some Add nine chords, although the chords suddenly become triads in the fourth bar. According to the vertical dissonance ratio, we can see dissonant chords in the proposal method were reduced than in the comparison method. The results of the proposed method were not desirable, but it seemed that dissonance codes were reduced using proposed method. Let me summarize my talk. In this study, we reduced dissonant codes with a consonance-based loss function. We added nodes of the co-occurring spectre of pitch interval. During training, we calculated loss between the co-occurrence vector with the degree of consonance. Our results showed the number of standard triads increased and the number of non-standard chords and dissonances decreased. That's all. Thank you for your attention.